Hi, I'm Sean Rice from the International Tour of the Adams Family, and this is Living Out of Suitcases. This week I've got some really fun tips for you actors on the go out there. But first, since the last time we chatted, we officially reopened our tour here in Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville. 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 I can't say it. We had the pleasure of spending an entire week here, including a golden day. Louisville, also known as the Derby City, is the largest city in Kentucky, which means that there's a lot to do and see for a passerby. There is a huge indie artist scene, so there are plenty of theaters and galleries to check out if that's your thing. There's also plenty of places for a discerning foodie. Everything from run-of-the-mill fast food joints at 4th Street Live to more gourmet organic options at one of my favorite places in town, Hillbilly Tea, the pulled pork over corn pone is to die for. For a more historical taste of Louisville, head to the elegant Brown Hotel to sample the original Hot Brown, a Kentucky specialty consisting of an open face and tomato turkey sandwich drowned in creamy cheese sauce and topped with bacon. For sports lovers, a trip to the Louisville Slugger Factory Museum is a must. You can see just how the official supplier of NBA bats are made and take a swing with one yourself in their batting cage. The highlight of my day, though, was visiting Churchill Downs, the home of the world-famous Kentucky Derby. Opening its doors in 1875, Churchill Downs quickly became known worldwide. The Kentucky Derby, which is just one of 800 races held here a year, has become an international event attracting spectators from every walk of life, including the rich and famous. Why, even Queen Elizabeth was in attendance one year. It's become as much a social event as a sporting one, with movie stars donning the finest and latest fashions and sporting large and outlandish hats of every color. When you tour the Downs, you'll be able to walk out to the track itself and see the horses running practice laps, as well as see where you could sit on Derby Day if you could afford the $14,000 indoor seats. It's definitely worth a few hours to check out this landmark and learn about the racing industry that's so much a part of Louisville's history. When you travel a lot, like I do, your luggage is bound to go through some wear and tear. So here's a little trick that I use to keep from having to replace my bags all the time. Get yourself a one-night bag. Basically any duffel will do. I found this one at Walmart and it's great because it zips up into this tiny little square that I can throw into my suitcase when I'm not using it. But when I've got a lot of one-nighters coming, when a touring company is only in town for one day with their show, it's called a one-nighter. Instead of hauling my two bags onto and off of the bus and to and from the hotel, I simply pack up all my toiletries and three or four nights of clothes into my one-nighter bag. That way I can drop off my suitcases for a few days, store this guy in the overhead compartment, and not have to worry about lugging everything around for a couple of days. This bag in particular is great. It can hold everything I need, plus it has room for a couple of games. One of my favorite ways to pass the time on the bus is to knit. Don't judge me. I learned from my head of wardrobe a couple of years ago. It's a very relaxing way to while away the hours. And when you're done, you've got this nifty little present for someone. It's perfect for this time of year. Now, I'm not a magician or anything with a needle. I pretty much only know how to knit scarves, but I can show you how to get started on some of your own projects, as long as they're scarves. Okay, it's very easy. What you wanna do is take your needle, wrap your thread around and make a small knot, very, very loose knot, just like this. See? Then you're going to take the tail end and hold it in your left hand. Slide the knot up near the edge of the needle. And in your right hand, you're going to take your second needle. Slip it behind the first, making an X. Then you're going to take the piece of yarn still connected to the ball, wrap it around the bottom needle, through the center, slowly pull that bottom needle down so the tip catches on what you just pulled around. Your first needle you're going to twist, catch on that second loop, and pull it off. Again, through the bottom making an X, wrap it around through the center, pull the bottom needle down, Catching the loop, your second needle you're going to twist and pull that loop off. This is called casting on. Once you've cast on about 15-20 loops, you're going to take your ne second needle, like I'm doing here, and just like it's just like the first step, you're going to put it through the center, making an X, wrap it around, 
pull it down, catch the loop, but this time you're just going to pull the loop off, and eventually you'll start to pull the loops off onto your second needle. Once you get going, this goes really, really fast, pulling them from needle to needle. And finally, you have a big long scarf! Fester Adams, and Halloween is one of my favorite times of year, so I wanted to share with you my idea for a Halloween costume. Get ready, it's pretty hideous. Isn't that terrifying? Well, that's it for now. I'm off to knit myself a Doctor Who scarf for Halloween. If you liked what you saw here today, please comment, like, share, tweet, Instagram, Facebook message, email me, tell your friends, and subscribe. As always, if you know of some interesting places in the towns that we're about to visit to, please let me know down in the comments. Ta-ta for now. Have a safe and happy Halloween!